Hello, welcome back to some basics of financial management online. Last week we had a look at the variance and expected returns for a given asset. In this video I want to have a look at expected return and variance as well as standard deviation for a portfolio of assets. So let's say for example you have these following three investments. $5,000 invested into company A $8,000 invested into company B, and $7,000 invested into company C. And just like in the previous video, let's say there are several outcomes that might take place in future, recession, the usual growth, and uh, expanded growth. And uh, these are the probabilities of these outcomes. What we also have is possible returns for each of the assets, for each of the firms, by outcomes. So, for example, if recession takes place, my investments into company A are going to give me a negative 12% return, my investments into company B are going to give me a negative 9% return, and C gives me 3% return. Same for all the other outcomes. So, first, before I can start with expected returns for the portfolio, as well as the variance and standard deviation for the portfolio, I first need to find out what are the weights of my investment. In other words, was the percentage of my total investments that's in each of these assets. So for that, let's sum up the total. That gives me $20,000 invested. And let's calculate the weight by dividing the amount invested into each asset by the total. Copy that, then I have 25% of my portfolio invested into company A, 40% in company B, and 35% in company C. Let me put it in this table underneath each of these assets. Next, before I can calculate variance or standard deviation, I gotta have the portfolio expected return anyway. So let's start with the portfolio expected return. What we do is we'll have a look at the returns I would have in each of these outcomes and then aggregate those returns to the total portfolio expected return. So if recession occurs, for example, 25% of my investments is gonna give me negative 12% return 40% of my investments is going to give me negative 9% return and 35% of my investment is going to give me 3% return. Based on this, I can calculate what's my expected return if recession actually takes place. Let me call it return by outcome. In that case, I want to multiply the return of each of the asset times the weight of that asset in the portfolio. And I want to sum up those products. So if recession actually takes place, I'm going to lose more than 5.5% on my total portfolio. I'm going to do the same for other outcomes. My weights are going to become fixed references. So I want to have these dollar signs for the cells where I have the weights. Then just copy the formula and then aggregate these based on the probabilities of each of these returns actually taking place. For that, first I'm going to multiply the probabilities by these returns by outcome, just like this copy the formula, and sum up these products. So my portfolio expected return is 3.71%. Next, let's calculate variance and standard deviation for this whole portfolio. For that, the first thing I want to calculate is the difference between the returns by outcome and the portfolio expected return. So each return by outcome minus the portfolio expected return, fix the reference, and copy the formula. Next, I want to have a look at them all together, but some of them are negative, some of them are positive. In aggregate, they're gonna cancel each other out. I don't want them to do that, so I'm gonna take a power of two of all of those. So let's have a difference squared. So just take the power of two of these differences, copy the formula. Next, realize that these squared differences are gonna happen with these probabilities for these outcomes. So let's multiply these square differences by the probabilities. Probabilities multiplied by the square differences. Copy the formula. And once you add up the numbers, you get the portfolio variance. And of course, the square root of variance is standard deviation. So there you go. This is how you can calculate portfolio expected returns and the risks measured in, say, variance and standard deviation.